And a lot of things have changed in Butte in the past six decades. One sweet thing has not. That's right. In this week's Montana Made, we visit Shepherd's Candy, making life a little sweeter in the mining city the same way since 1954. And that's even a good indication. Bruce Shepard started making candy here in 1954. He'd been making candy in several other Butte locations since around the turn of the 21st century. But this building on Harrison Avenue would be his final. If you'd walked in back in 1954, it wouldn't have looked much different than it does today. The candy wouldn't have tasted any different. And Dad Shepard always says you never want to toy with the quality of the product. So for us, it's just been a time-honored tradition that those are the recipes and the formulas and the techniques that follow. Because again, a formula is good, you toy with the technique and you, and you will get something different, especially when it comes to something like candy. Bruce passed on his knowledge and ultimately the business to his son, Bruce Jr. Gallardo began working for Bruce Jr. as a teen and is now part owner with Bruce's daughter. Is again, I started working here as a freshman in high school, um, on and off through college. I still worked here, whatever. I, you know, personally loved the the craft, the art, the artistry, I guess, that goes into it. And watching Ron work, it is an art. Recipes haven't changed. Neither has the equipment. Whether it's the copper pots or the marble tables. Bruce Sr. bought these used to start Shepherd's Candy more than six decades ago, meaning these tools of the trade are likely more than a century old. Those tools turn sugar and nuts into this. But Ron remains a kid in a candy store. Uh, not, not, not overly. <laughs> you, know, you know, sometimes Christmas, when you're uh, Christmas time, I'm stirring, you know, the stoves go on, Dave will come in and help out, and we'll have both stoves going, and, you know, 14-hour days, whatever, to keep up with it. Uh, you do get tired by, by Christmas, but, uh, but, you know, all year round, it is something that's just enjoyable to do. It's a lifestyle, it's not a job. Shepherd's Candy, promoting that sweet lifestyle for more than 60 years. In Butte, Chet Lehman, MTN News. So good, by the way. Ron's wife and son also work at Shepherd's Candy, helping keep that family approach. First started by Bruce Shepherd Sr., keeping it alive and well 64 years after he sold his first piece of candy there. My Arizona. mouth is watering. So that was the cashew. Was cashew brittle. Phenomenal uh. with the metal tools making that work on a table that's 100 years old. Two-inch marble table with those tools. It is really work. cool watching it. Was it was artwork. It was absolutely fun. Ron, thank you so much for opening up the doors. Let me in there. And for the samples, Chet. I had one little piece of the caramel one and then I, I had a little. Well, if you go in there, you always get a sample. Walk in the front door, everybody gets a sample. 64 okay. years of that going on. I love it. So I love good. it so much. So good. Thanks cashew, again, Ron, for uh, letting, uh, letting us in there with the camera. I'm a little jealous right now. No big deal. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs> Coming up in just a moment. Space.